So I got this brand new box, and uh, I first introduced the magic. My nickname is White Chocolate, by the way. I'm Riveter's son, uh, youngest son. And uh, anyways, uh, I started getting into magic, and so I went ahead and bought me one of these uh, booster boxes. And um, anyways, it came into the mail today. Very ecstatic about it. Been waiting a while for it. And right off the bat. I have one thing now that I've never had before, my very own personal dice. And uh looks like maybe tokens or something. And then we got mana, little guide, and what we all been waiting to see, booster packs. So, here we go with the first one. If I can open it, you know these are child proof. Got through it like a champ. Oh! One one counters. Gotta love them things, man. And uh, here we go. Alright, I got a scribe with the mindful. Decent card. Uh, what do we got back here at the back, though? Ooh, we got a sensor. It's not too terribly bad. And then I got the uh, Avon Wind Guide. I'm one of the things I say that. Flying and Vigilance. And creature tokens you control have Flying and Vigilance. Uh, Gideon's invent Invention. Intervention, my bad. Uh, choose a card name. Your opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to you in permanence. You control by sources with the chosen name. That's pretty good. Uh, mana. So that's uh, pretty decent right there. On to the second pack here. We got a token for worms. Uh, oh, shed weakness. That's decent for the decks I have. Oh, here we go. Artifacts. This is what I like. Uh, I got a monument. Bomb twos, I'm going to say. Uh, monument. Black creature spells you cast uh, cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature spell, each opponent loses life, I gain a life. That's useful in the mono black deck I have. Uh, Edifice of Authority. I have that in uh, the Liliana pre-built deck. I bought that from Walmart. Uh, I love that deck. It, it's super fun to play with. And then I got uh, Spring and Mind. Uh, that's one card that uh, my brother has. And I got prepare and fight. And prepare. Oh, dropped it. Prepare uh, untapped target creature gets two two and life linked on a turn. F uh, fight aftermath. Uh, target creature you control fights creature an opponent controls. So that's kind of like uh, one of those prey upon spells that I uh, I have gotten in the past. I tell you now, I have the worst time with these booster packs trying to get them open up. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got a uh, Oracle, a Naga Oracle. We got Tormenting Voice, Ply Caravan, um, Wrapping Story Holler, Wandering Death. Return two target creature cards from graveyard to your hand. That's a sorcery. That's a. It's not too terribly bad there. It's actually pretty good. I, I definitely would run that there. One of my decks. Ooh, there you go. Winds of Rebuke. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Then each player puts top two cards of his or her library into his graveyard. So. Uh, by force, that would really kill an artifact deck. Destroy X target artifacts. It's cost one red and then X. Uh, Angler Drake. I got N. I'm going to say that's how it's A-H-N. Crop Crasher, uh, Haste, Exert it, and it, uh, target creature can't block this turn. Oh, here we go. Uh, Sandworm Convergence. Creatures with flying can attack you or planeswalkers you control at the beginning of instep. Create a 5-5 five, five green worm token. And then I've got a uh, mana and a uh, token, a crop skirmisher. skirmisher.
And then uh, up next we got a uh, Crop Spearmaster, uh, Seeker of Insight, Fling. I actually was playing Two-Headed Giant last night with my dad, brother, and uh, my uncle. And uh, this right here, along with a Tattered Mummy, killed them. So, that, that's really funny. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Trespassers Curse, Compulsory Rest, Sixth Sense. Uh, whenever this, uh, whenever, Enchanted Creature, Enchanted Creature has, whenever this uh, creature deals combat damage to a player, I get to draw a card. Nest of Scarabs. Maybe put minus one, minus one on a creature, create that many black 1-1 one, one insect tokens. That's uh, that's kind of like the Apopatra, except uh, it's not getting death touch. <clears throat> uh, I got Mouth, create a 3-3 three, three green hippo token, and then Feed, draw a card from a creature. For each creature, you control with power 3 or greater. Uh, Harsh Mentor, whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact, creature, or land on the battlefield, if it isn't a mana ability, Harsh Mentor deals 2 damage to that player. That I'm going to actually run in my um, red, bl uh, red black uh, deck. It's actually a foil as well, in case you couldn't tell. And it's pretty nice. So, uh, anyways, on to the next one. And looks like we'll pull up a, uh, a Brute Strength, Cartouche of Solidarity, Cartouche of Knowledge. Noble Bra Blade, Kinra, I think maybe. That's probably wrong. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm new to this stuff still. So, um, final reward. That's that's a pretty nasty card. <laughs> and I got another one of those uh, monuments. And then I got onward. Target creature gets X plus zero till in turn, where X is its power. And then uh, victory. Target creature gains double strike until end of turn. So, then I've got a um, Vizier of Deferment, maybe? It's probably wrong. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, you may cat exile target creature if it attacked or blocked this turn. Record that car return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of next end step. I got a Avon Mind Sensor. It has flash and flying. Whenever opponent, if an opponent would search a library, that a player search. That player searches the top four cards of that library instead. So, I'm gonna get none of those uh, exert cards and all. So, up next we have as soon as I can get it open. Ah, here we go. We got none of those spear masters, uh, hieroglyphic illumination, fling, scarab feast. Um, Ghost Walker, Blazing Volley, uh, Crop Elite, Floodwaters, Gift of Paradise. I run in that uh, pre-built Liliana deck I own. I have run two of those. It's, it's really fun to play with them. Uh, Cryptic Serpent. I've seen that played quite a bit, and uh, it's actually a pretty good card. I mean, it's a 6-5, and one less to cast for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. That's great in a counters deck. Uh, I got Liliana's Mastery. Zombies you control get plus one plus one. Liliana's mastery enters the battlefield. Create two black to uh, zombie tokens. Uh, Riv actually runs a deck that has one of these in there. So, and of course you got a uh, mana and uh, another one of those uh, cards. So, and it looks like we got. A tormenting voice. As an additional little cost to uh, cast this, I have, have to discard a card, and then I get to draw two cards. So I have supply caravan, uh, illusionary wrappings, manticore of gauntl gauntlet. Uh, when this enters the battlefield, put a minus one minus one counter on target creature control. Uh, it then deals three damage to target opponent. It's a five drop five four. I got a festering mummy, shed weakness, hungry pack, impeccable timing. Luxa River Shrine, I run that in my um, uh, black deck. Uh, Ruthless Sniper, whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one. If you do, put a minus one, minus one on target creature. That's uh, that's pretty good, actually, I think. Uh, when Grave Deer in this battlefield, you know. Uh, ooh, a new monument that I have not seen. 
And this one is uh, looks like it'll be used for a white deck. And it says white creature spells you uh, cast cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a one one white warrior creature token with vigilance. Um, then I have Glorious End, in the turn, exile all spells and abilities on stack, including this card. That player's whose turn it is discards down to his or her maximum hand size. Damage wears off in this turn and end till the end of turn effects end. And then at the beginning of your next end step, you lose the game. So, it's like a last ditch effort, I guess. Uh, I don't know. That's, uh, that'll be interesting to learn how to play that card. So, anyways. <sighs> Cartouche of Zeal. Uh, 1 1 in haste. Um, another one of those River Shrine. Ooh, ooh, what do we got back here? I, I'm sorry, let's skip all those cards. But an Enigma Drake. That's, uh, my uncle has a couple of those. Stir the Sands. Honored Crop Captain. That's pretty good. Harsh Mentor. Uh, Swamp and a Beast, a 4-2. I know because I have those Trial of Strengths that are on. And we're down to two packs remaining. So, here we go. We got a uh, <coughs> Sparring Mummy, uh, some Sentinels, Manticore of Gauntlets, Pie Caravan, Greater Sandworm, Wandering Death, Unwavering Initiative, Trespassers Curse, Final Reward, uh, Winds of Rebuke, Cryptic uh, Serpent, Trial of Strength, which I was talking about earlier, uh, Destined, and then Lead. Uh, target creature gains 1 and 0 oh until an indestructible to end turn. All creatures able to block this turn, uh, target creature do so. Irrigated Farmland, Island, and a, uh, I don't know what kind of card that is, but it's one of those. So, anyways, yep. And then the last and final pack, hopefully, has the best of the last. But you know, why not, right? And right off the bat, we got a six drop with cycling. So, and then a uh, forsake the worldly seeker of insight, pathmaker initiate, target with power two or less can't block this turn. Cursed minotaur with menace. I mean, that's pretty good. Colossipede. That just sounds fun to say and everything. Or the broken lands, scorched desert. Naga Vitalist, Pursue Glory, that's pretty good it looks like, uh, Nest of Scarabs, I'm going to have to put those in there, ooh, an artifact, here we go, activate abilities of creature cards in your graveyard, cost one less to activate, tap and untap zombie you control, target player puts the top card of his or her library into his graveyard, uh, exemplar of strength, when this enters the battlefield, put three minus one minus one counters on target creature I control, when it attacks, remove a minus one minus one counter, and if I do so, then I get to gain a life. And another one of those uh, Avon Mind Sensors, a Plains, and another one of those cards. And uh, that does it for the actual booster packs. Guys, as always, thank you for tuning in to our videos. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, watching my youngest son, uh, White Chocolate, uh, open uh, some booster packs today. And remember to like, subscribe. Share our videos, follow us on Twitter, all links are down in the description, and as always, have a blessed day.